Hi, this is Ron Kleinman. Let's talk about the roots. Well, spot. first off, I'm doing this outside, so you're bound to hear plenty of trains, planes, and automobiles, plus some noisy neighbors and some dogs. So anyway, bear with me. First of all, let's look at dimensions. Okay, the dimensions of the groove in this grommet, for example, to match up to the hole in the bucket. In other words, the hole in the bucket should be slightly smaller than the dimension of the groove so that it'll fit nice and tight. So let's check it out. So using our handy dandy caliper, let's turn it off, turn it on and it's in inches. So let's see what the dimension of that groove is. Not too tight. Make it fit exactly right. So here we have 0.84 inches. So let's check the size of the hole in the bucket and see where we are. Okay, once again, we'll turn on the caliper. Make sure it's zeroed. Expand it till it just touches. And we have 0.77 inches, which is just a tad over three quarters of an inch. So we're looking at a 0.77 inch hole and a 0.84 inch groove. That grommet is going to fit extremely tight, probably too tight. A 13 16 inch hole will be equivalent to a 0.8125 inches which would easily adapt and be a nice tight fit for the 0.87 inch groove. Plus it would be much easier to get it in the hole than this smaller hole. You can see the difference there. So how can we drill the perfect size hole? with a step drill. But you have to be really, really careful and you have to stop it right at 13 sixteenths. So we're going to do that. We're going to modify this new bucket. You can also drill a brand new hole in a new bucket using this step bed. You don't even have to have a pilot drill because it has its own pilot tip. All you have to do is drill it up to this point, 13 16th, and then make sure you stop. So I've marked this spot on the drill where I need to stop. So let's drill, baby, drill. So let's go ahead and use this step drill, step drill bit, and use the 3 13 16th level. I have it marked and we do not go want to go beyond that. We'll see if we can make the hole near the same size as the groove in this grommet. You just want to make sure you don't go too far and you want to make sure to hold the drill perfectly straight. Well, there you go. It's a nice cut. I don't think I even have to use, well I'll use the burnishing tool a little bit. So we'll take our little burnishing tool and just make a circle. Nice and smooth for that grommet. And there you go. 
Okay, now the hole size is... eight three inches so we're just a teeny bit smaller than the groove in the grommet now it can either be the same size or a teeny bit smaller it cannot be bigger or it can move around in there and actually leak okay let's put the grommet in I usually use a little bit of soapy water or if it's mine I just use spit it should press in rather hard, but not too hard. There. Okay, that is totally in. Now you should not be able to move that any at all. Now once you put the elbow in, that's going to get even tighter. So here you go, a little more lubricant. Then you can just press it in, turn it a bit. It's nice and snug. So the opening in this uh, air hose adapter is 0.23 inches. air hose itself is 0.25 which is a quarter of an inch so it's bigger than the inlet of the adapter so to correct that you make it the same size you just take a quarter inch drill bit by hand you don't want to make it too big. If you used a drill, it'd probably really mess it up. And you ream it out a little. No big deal. Okay. So now the air hose will go in nicely and still fit tight. But it's easier to put in and take out. Whereas before, when it was the hole was smaller, it was pretty difficult to get in. So let's sum it up. Make the hole a bit smaller or even the same size as the groove in the grommet. And once you push the elbow in there, it's going to expand a little anyway. So if it's the same size as the grommet groove, that's fine. Ream the air hose enough so that the, uh, I mean the adapter enough so that the air hose will slide in easily, but still be tight enough not to leak. And there you have it. It's a piece of cake. That baby now is just about ready for action. So that's about it. I hope that cleared up any questions you might have. And uh, hopefully you'll buy a lot of these babies because these things are great. And you can grow many, many vegetative plants, huge vegetative plants like basil, genera. But you can also grow blooded, budding plants. Tomatoes, I've grown tomatoes in these things. And it works out great. So. Take care and thanks for watching.